Pat McAfee signs multi-year contract extension with WWE. Several matches announced for Ring of Honor Death Before Dishonor. Wrestling Entertainment Series cancels debut show. Sasha Banks and Naomi reportedly removed from WWE internal roster. And Tony Khan discusses Kenny Omega. Happy Thursday, everyone. It is Denise Salcedo here on F4W Online, and you're watching the latest. I got multiple news stories for you here today, so let's go ahead and kick things off with Pat McAfee. Take a look. Pat McAfee has inked a multi-year contract extension with WWE. The company announced the contract extension on Thursday, noting that the new deal will see McAfee entertaining the WWE universe for years to come. The exact length of the extension wasn't disclosed. The 35-year-old McAfee has called SmackDown alongside Michael Cole since joining the WWE commentary team back in April 2021. In addition to doing commentary, McAfee has also wrestled for WWE multiple times. He competed for NXT twice in 2020 before making his main roster in-ring debut at WrestleMania 38 this April. McAfee will step back into the ring when he faces Happy Corbin at SummerSlam on Saturday, July 30th. And several people had nice things to say about this extension for Pat McAfee in WWE, one of them being Triple H. Here's what he said. Very few can transition from professional athletics to entertainment the way that Pat McAfee has. In short, he gets it. And the authenticity he brings to his fans and the WWE is the same he brings to every facet of his life. A pleasure working with him, wrote Triple H. And his broadcasting partner, Michael Cole, also had some nice words to say. After 25 years in the booth, working with Pat McAfee is the highlight of each week. His excitement is contagious, even if he almost kicks me when standing on our table, and has helped revitalize my love for our business. WWE, our fans, and I are lucky to have him. And I definitely agree with this. I think ever since they added Pat McAfee to the SmackDown commentary team, it has definitely been a vast improvement and a very different flavor to what we're used to getting. But now, on to our next story. Sasha Banks and Naomi are no longer considered active members of the WWE roster. According to a report from PW Insider, both women have been removed from the company's internal roster listing over the last 24 hours. There has been no confirmation that either has been officially released. However, the report continues to say that there have been rumblings Banks may be doing some signings outside of WWE this fall as well. Last month, it was reported that Banks lawyers were working on obtaining a release from WWE for their client. Banks and Naomi walked out on the May 16th edition of WWE Raw after a disagreement with the company over creative plans. On the May 20th edition of SmackDown, WWE announced that the two had been suspended indefinitely and that the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships had been vacated. Their merchandise was pulled from WWEshop.com as well. Ring of Honor Death Before Dishonor is taking place July 23rd. Here are some of the matches that have been announced for the show thus far. Take a look. During a backstage promo on this week's AEW Dynamite, FTR issued a rematch challenge to the Briscoes for ROA death before dishonor. It was later revealed on social media that they had accepted the challenge, thus making the match official. Briscoe's FTR too. Let's do this shit and shine them belts up, boys, so we make it 13 times. Them boys back in the house. Chick cut that shit off. The two teams last met on April 1st at Supercard of Honor, where FTR defeated the Briscoes to win the ROH Tag Team titles. Also announced during Dynamite, Samoa Joe will defend the ROH World Television title at Death Before Dishonor against Jay Lethal. Another title match was also announced on Dynamite, as Wheeler Yuta will defend the ROH Pure title against Daniel Garcia. Now we're going from a show that is happening to a show that is no longer happening. Take a look. Wrestling Entertainment Entertainment series has canceled its inaugural show. On Wednesday, the promotion released a statement regarding the cancellation. They noted that with so many talent not showing up, they would have to cancel the show. WES also promised to be back in the near future. According to the company's statement, the talent that was scheduled had been paid in full. The promotion would later confirm that everyone who purchased a ticket would be refunded. 
And now, for those of you who may be wondering when Kenny Omega might be returning to AEW, Tony Khan spoke with the New York Post and gave us some insight. Take a look. Speaking to the New York Post, Tony Khan provided an update on Kenny Omega. He said, quote, I'm always concerned whenever a wrestler has an injury, but in Kenny Omega's case, he carried the load through more injuries than probably anyone I've seen in terms of working through a sustained period where he was limited and still having great matches in the ring and also doing great box office for the company as a great champion. It is a little bit different because you're dealing with multiple injuries as opposed to just one injury. I'm optimistic. I don't want to put a timetable on it. I'm still optimistic Kenny's coming back. Recently, Kenny Omega appeared on the CEO gaming Twitch channel and also provided an update on his recovery. He said, quote, if I get another major setback, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. He also added two times, three times a day, really painful rehab, not even knowing what it's going to be like when I get back in the ring. I have no clue. It's scary. Actually, you see people, they come back to the ring and you're just happy to see them back. There is a different kind of expectation put on me, and I think that anything less than what they are expecting, which is already unrealistic, is going to lead to a lot of ridicule, which is what I get every day anyway. You can probably understand and imagine how difficult it is, struggling twice, three times a day, trying to get things to work that maybe never worked before, and trying to reroute things in your brain to get around the things that aren't going to heal. People think Kenny is hurt, he took time off, snap your fingers, I come back and I'm 100%. Life doesn't work that way. Bodies don't work that way. Athletes don't work that way. It's very difficult to formulate a plan and to execute it. We'll see how I do. Of course, we're wishing Kenny Omega the best of luck in his recovery. But in the meantime, that is a wrap for our video here today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to chat more pro wrestling with me, you can. You can hit me up on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. Let me know that you watched this video. On top of that, give this video a like and make sure to subscribe to F4W online. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.